This is Lovecraft Country episode 7, 3 minutes or less. Let's go! To start off, Hippolyta discovers the puzzle to Aram's orrery. She opens it and sees a key and a set of coordinates. We found out that Christina used to have a teacher named William, but he died and now she uses his blood to transform into him. Cut to Lysitia having a dream about chasing Atticus's great ancestor down a hallway. In that dream, she may or may not be pregnant. And that may or may not mean she's pregnant in real life now. Maybe. Anyway, she tells Atticus about her dream and they discover that they need to find the book that Hannah was holding while she was running down that hallway. The book is called the Book of Names. If they could find it, they could learn some spells and then become wizards. Anyways, Atticus and Letitia go to Montrose to see if he had answers about where to find the book. When Letitia and Atticus get there, they see that Sammy is leaving Montrose's house. That is when my boy Atticus finds out that his father is gay. Reason number 777 why I hate Montrose. He beat his son Atticus because he didn't want Atticus to become gay. But he's gay himself while he was beating his son Atticus. So it's like, bro, what are you doing? I hate this guy. Hippolyta hires Ruby to babysit Dee while she's away to find those coordinates. Ruby and Letitia finally make up from their fight from episode 3. Four whole episodes later. Four! In the meantime, Atticus heads out to his grandma's house to find more about what happened to Hannah and the book. That night, Hippolyta reaches her destination. It's a small observatory and inside, the key that she got from the orrery fits inside it. She starts calculating stuff. I mean, calculating like Graphs started popping up on the screen and everything. While she was lost in her calculations, two cops came in and started questioning her. She was feigning ignorance, but the cops weren't buying it. So they were about to put her to sleep permanently. But my boy Atticus came to the rescue. Atticus is only there because Letitia called him and told him about the coordinates that Hippolyta found. Okay, now back to Atticus throwing hands at these cops. See, like, he came in and just... One of these cops. Anyways, like, you shouldn't do at any foreign technology. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. But people always shoot. And so they shot the machine and a bunch of random portals started opening up. Atticus threw one of the cops into the portals and he was gone. Just gone. Hippolyta took that chance to shoot the other cop. Killed him. Dead. R.I.P. I don't know why Hippolyta and Atticus did this, but they started resting in front of the portal and so it sucked them both in. So Hippolyta gets thrown into space, I want to say, but she was breathing. So she gets thrown into space and then transported to a different planet. Pretty cool. While on that planet, two aliens came up to her and imprisoned her. They say she wasn't imprisoned, but it's like, if I put you in a room and then don't tell you how to get out, but I lock the doors, you're imprisoned. Long story short, the aliens put her in a simulation or teleport her from world to world, I don't really know, but in the end, she learns who she really is and she goes, I am Hippolyta. The aliens then give her a choice if she wants to stay or she wants to go back home. And she decides she wants to go back home to her daughter D because she needs her. After saying she was going to go home to her daughter D, they pulled her Uno reverse because she didn't come out the portal. We then cut to Atticus returning from the portal, which begs the question, where did Atticus go? If he was in the portal as well, and we know Hippolyta's journey in the portal was crazy, but we don't know what Atticus did in the portal. That being said though, Atticus did return with a book in his hand, a book called Lovecraft Country, the name of the show, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, it's written by George Freeman, the dead George, so it's weird. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you liked the video, then leave a like and subscribe. Now you caught up with the seventh episode of Lovecraft Country. Adios.